Hi Terry. Hi Kath. Hello everybody. Good evening. Hi Shirley. Hi Joanne. Hi Sabrina. Hi Debbie. Thanks for joining me. Hi Millie. Hope everybody's well. Hi Kath. How are you? Hi Jane. Hi Janice. Welcome everybody. As usual, you must be used to me by now. I've started a couple of minutes early just to make sure that I've got all the everything set up properly and that you can see everything. Although my desk is a total mess, I have to say. Just play with the camera a little bit. Is that better? Hi Helen. Hi Angela. Hi Miriam. Hope you're well. Are you enjoying your new craft room, Miriam? Hi Sue. Hi Leslie, hi Dawn, thanks everybody for joining me. I'm just waiting a few moments for a few more to join us so then you don't keep hearing me repeat myself which is really boring. Hi Beverly, hi Janice, hi Sarah, Sarah, sorry I get confused between Sarah's and Sarah's and <laughs> actually my brain's mush at the moment. Hi Helen. Just having a sip of water. Hope everybody's well and had a good weekend. I'm just waiting a few moments just for let people to join. Hi Sandra. Hi Sue. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining me. Hi Narupa. Hi Pam. Hi Terry. How are you? Hi Jane. I'm just waiting a few moments. Untidiness means creativity. Actually, in this on this occasion, Sue, it doesn't. On this occasion, it means that I've done a show and my room's like bedlam. It absolutely looks like a dumping ground. Seriously. It's not a very good advertisement for a craft room. Just needs a few weeks off work to play. Your room looks fabulous, Miriam. Looks really fab. I bet it's lovely having everything in its own place as well now, Miriam. Hi Alex, hi, hi everybody, welcome, hi Sharon, hi Anne, hi Piggy Sue, I won't keep you a few more moments, I'm just waiting a couple of minutes and then, sorry about that, hopefully you can still see me, sorry about that, somebody called me, I have no idea who it was but somebody called me on my um, iPad as I was live, which I've never had before. So that was a bit strange. Oh, thanks ever so much. Um, where do I start? <laughs> Love the demo. Oh, thanks ever so much, Becky. I, I don't actually know where to start. The weekend has been, hi Beverly, has been a huge whirlwind. Um, both myself and Abs have been truly overwhelmed by the comments. I, thank you doesn't even seem enough and the reason for this Facebook live is to show a little bit of appreciation because sometimes saying thank you to everybody on Facebook looks like you're just repeating the same message and I don't want it to be seen like that I want you to realize that the fact that you've taken time out of your day and emailed in I've had messages I've had private messages I've had Facebook messages and I think it's better to hear somebody personally to say thank you. I am utterly overwhelmed. I really did not expect the feedback that I received. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate every single comment and I will reply to every single one. Um, I was on the iPad for nine hours yesterday and I've still only got through half the messages. I just can't thank you enough. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled and just, just can't thank you enough. Thank you everybody that tuned in. Thank you to everybody that purchased. Thank you to everybody that messaged in and showed artwork. I'm, I'm just, I just can't think of anything else to say. I'm just so overwhelmed. Thank you so much. And what I did on Saturday night, I ordered a little gift 
just to say thank you. I didn't know how else to say thank you. I ordered something. I haven't opened it yet because I literally didn't have time. So I'm hoping they've sent me the right thing or else that will look embarrassing. Um, so I ordered it yesterday and I'm going to open it now. Um, this is part of a, a little giveaway. giveaway. Um, thanks so much, Kath. It really means a lot. Um, I've ordered something for a little giveaway. And this is for a randomly drawn person who's here on the Facebook Live. Um, if you want to share, that's brilliant. And then hopefully I can reach more of the people that were on the Hachanda shows. Because I want to try and reach as many people that tuned into the shows, that wrote in to me. It's so difficult to know what to do for the best. Um, and I'm hoping you, you can see that I really do mean it sincerely. A really huge thank you. Um, so I've got, let's make sure they've ordered the right thing. Yes, they have. So I've ordered an Eileen Hull um, journal die. Um, and this will be part of the giveaway. Um, and this is for a, a randomly drawn winner. Just to say a huge thank you. And to give something back. Um, to say thank you to everybody. Hello Anne, hi, welcome, welcome everybody. It's just to say a thank you to everybody. Um, this is a, a scoreboard die um, designed by Eileen. It's the new notebook die. Um, and this is part of the giveaway. So I'll randomly draw a winner um, for the actual die. And to go along with that, we had one only, because this is not available for sale. This it was just available with the one day special, but we had one left. So this is going to go with the die that I purchased myself. Um, so one randomly drawn winner will win the die and will win the stamp set. And I'll draw that winner in a week's time. Um, just to say a huge thank you really um, for, for everybody that's tuned in. It, it was just, the weekend was just amazing. I have to say a huge, huge thank you to the design team. Without the design team, none of this would be possible. They put their heart and soul into the samples and they worked really hard um, and the samples were amazing. So thank you very much to the, the All and Create design team. I need to say a thank you to Hachanda who were very welcoming and the presenters really put me at ease because I can't explain to you how nervous I was. I do suffer with anxiety, so they really put me at ease. So everybody behind the scenes at her chandy. And a huge thank you to Abs, who was my partner in crime. We had great fun. He's a great person to be around. He's a great friend, and he really helped me during the few days. So it was great to be be in his company so thanks very much abs and thanks to abs for giving me this the last stamp set to do as part of the giveaway um we've also got a little thank you um just for everybody who you know maybe couldn't buy the one day special or it's just not the right time um just as a thank you we're offering a 15 percent off um on the website on the all and create website you can get 50 15 15 percent off by putting in the code thank you with no space so if you place an order and you put in the word thank you with no space in uppercase capitals there will be a 15 percent off discount code um, until the 31st of august so there's a 15 percent discount code i will repeat all this at the end just in case anybody missed it um i just i'm just I, I, I just can't express how thankful i am thank you thankful i am for every comment and every message and i know abs feels exactly the same um so thank you everybody and i thought i'd make a little card if you're not all fed up of cards i thought i'd make a little card with some of the leftovers that i had from the show yes Anne, my nail is still missing why does it always happen to me that my they aren't false they aren't false nails they're my real nails but the gel nail i must have pinged it off with a piece of my card why does that always happen to me live on tv it always happens to me something i just couldn't believe it when it pinged off it literally sprung across the air 
on live TV. I thought, well, that's just great. Just wonderful. So I will repeat those giveaways later on. If you'd like to share, that's wonderful. If you don't want to share, that's wonderful. It doesn't matter. This is just a carefree uh, Facebook Live, um, just to say a big thank you. Sue, this is cheating me up so much. Oh, bless Millie. Recovering from last... Ke oh, Millie, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you are recovering from chemo. Sending a big, big hugs. So I hope you feel better soon, Millie. Sending lots of strength and hugs. It makes you realise what's important. So a big love, Millie. And I hope everything improves for you. Um, so I'm now going to create a little card. I had these for some of the demo prep. Uh, you thought I was being very up to date with one clear nail. Ha <laughs> ha! No, in my dreams, Sue. No, it just fell off. <laughs> Um, so I've got these little bits and pieces that I had from some of my prep. So I thought I'd use these. I've never done any of your style of crafting, but watching on Hachanda makes me want to have a go. Oh, well, that's brilliant, Christine. That's what all, it's all about, really. Hopefully you want to give it a try. You want to give it a go. And it doesn't matter if it all goes wrong. It's just a piece of card. And at the end of the day, as long as you enjoy the process, nothing else matters. That's all I do. I just enjoy the process, enjoy what I'm making and, and enjoy using my products. That's it, really. Hi, Jackie. Welcome. Thanks, every, thanks ever so much, everybody, for joining me. So we've got this accordion card. I've got these three pieces of card. So I thought we'd have a go at making a quick card. I won't keep you too long because I don't want you getting too bored. Um, so guess what stencil I'm going to be using? No surprise, I'm using the Lots of Dots stencil. I couldn't help myself, I couldn't help myself. So, one of my favourite stencils. Hi, Diane. Uh, I, I'm sort of, I haven't got a clue. I've sort of put some ideas in my head, but my mind's been all over the place. I've got boxes everywhere, so I thought I'll just go with the flow. Why not? Hi, Isabel. Hi, Angie. So I thought I'll just go with the flow and see what happens. I created one little bit, so we'll see where we go. So I've got my Versafine ink pad. So let's see if we can make something that was completely different from the show. And let's do it in vintage tones. Because I did a lot of colour on the show. So I thought we'd go for vintage tones this time. My family have just turned up. Enjoy your family time. Thanks everybody for joining me. Hi Joe. hi Jeanette, bonjour. So I'm now going to add my Versamark ink through the Lots of Dots stencil. And I'm just applying randomly the Versamark ink. Hopefully you can see that I'm just pressing onto the ink pad and then applying the Versamark ink through the stencil. I can't, you can't actually see anything at the moment because it's a clear ink. So I'm just going to move to the second piece of card as well so we can do exactly the same hi Tracy 80 year old Jan here hi Jan 80 years old young <laughs> thanks for joining me Jan it's my favorite stencil too I can't help but use it I love it so just applying some Versa mark through the stencil and just adding layers of the ink just until I'm happy that I've definitely got some of that clear ink through the stencil. I should have some through there. And then I'm going to apply some clear embossing. So we're going something for a different look this time because we did lots of colour on the show. So let's do something completely different. Oh, thanks for ordering the stencil, Isabel. So I'm going to apply my embossing powder. You won't see much on screen. I nearly did this live on TV. I kept wanting to lift my card up to the camera. I couldn't help myself. Oh, bless. I'm glad you're all enjoying lots of dots. And you too as well, Beverly. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Rizwana. Welcome. Hopefully you can see some of that slightly in the camera. So we'll just add some more embossing powder to the other one that I did as well. So I'll just tip my excess into my pot. I'm on a go slow today. 
Oh, where's, I now lost my lid. I won't be able to find anything on this Facebook Live, trust me. So I'm just going to heat that embossing. You won't be able to see much on screen. Hi, Val. So I'm just going to heat the embossing and I need to keep it low because of the light in my um, studio. I can't see the embossing very well, so I'm having to just move it at an angle. And I should have just heated my heat gun up a little bit. You can see a bit, Tracy, can you, Terry? That's great. Hi, Karen. Hi, Gail. So I'm a, I'll try and lift this up once I've turned all the embossing. You won't see much at the moment. Makes for great watching, embossing clear embossing powder. But hopefully this won't take too long. Just turn the card round because when you're embossing, you don't want to keep embossing the same area over and over or else your image will go completely flat and that will, de that will defeat the whole object. Nearly there. So that's one. I don't know whether you can see that clear embossing in the background. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me. Yes, we can see that. So I just need to heat the second one, but my heat gun should be quite hot, so it shouldn't take too long. I hope you're not in a rush. I'm on a go slow today. You know when you've had a busy weekend and you can't function? I'm at that stage today, I can't function. I'll just move the other card out of the way so I don't continue to emboss it. It's just turning now. Every time I heated something on the show, it felt like it was taking ages. That's the only thing when you're live, everything, everything feels like it's taking twice the time. I'm just moving my card around so I don't heat the same area over and over again. I think we've got all that now. So we'll just hold those up so you can see that I've got two lots of embossing. Oh, brilliant. I'm glad you can see. So I could do with the camera that they've got at Achanda. It looks much better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to colour this with some Distress Oxide. And we're using fossilised amber first. So let's just get some kitchen rolls so we don't have any sticky marks. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Chris. Oh, bless. Thanks, Chris. Oh, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm still shaking from the weekend. So I'm now going to, I think I'm going to live on this weekend all week. So I'm now going to use my kitchen roll so I don't apply any sticky marks to my embossing. Because we don't want any sticky marks. And I love how the Distress Oxides blend so beautifully. And I don't know whether you can notice, I have done some machine stitching on the card. I did the machine stitching as a prep. I've had to bring you in the kitchen so I can finish cooking dinner. Oh, bless Lynn. <laughs> My husband's cooked dinner. I've actually got a Sunday dinner on a Monday, but it smells divine. So I'm just blending the colour over my embossing. And if you'd like to share the video, that'd be wonderful, just so I can reach as many po people as possible that watched the Hachanda shows, just to say a huge thank you to everybody and just to send some love back their way, just for supporting me on the shows. So as you can see, the Distress Oxides beautifully blend and the, the embossing resists the ink, which gives a wonderful effect. I always love this. Lovely nails, apart from one, Jackie, one pinged off on my show. I'm having my nails done again tomorrow because when I've done this Facebook Live, I'm taking a couple of days off and I'm going to garden and clean my and clean my room. My room needs a, a, a definite clean. You don't realise how much stuff you take when you go to demo. I don't know whether any of you demo or go to shows, but I take everything but the kitchen sink because I'm paranoid that something might happen. And, and if I forget something, I just worry. So I took everything but the kitchen sink. I think Kachanda thought I was moving in for a week. Hi Joanne, I hope you're feeling a little better. So I've just blended that to add one layer of colour. Are you bored of me saying add more than one layer of colour yet? I promise not to PM you. You can PM me anytime Sue, I don't mind at all, not a problem. 
that's what we're here for. So now I'm going to add a darker layer of colour, which is the Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. And I'm just going to blend that over the top. I'm still going to keep some of that um, fossilised amber. But just to add some Vintage Photo, just to give some depth to my design. And then go back to the second one that we did. And just add some Vintage Photo. Sounds familiar. <laughs> So I'm now just going to add some of the vintage photo and I'm not really thinking about where I'm adding it. All as I'm aware is that I'm adding some depth to the design, just adding some more layers to the card. And then I'll go back to my fossilised amber and just add another layer of that colour. And that blends the edges so that you've got no edges, no defined edges, where you've just applied that vintage photo. I'm going over that to hide those really thick edges, just so it looks more blend, more blended and no edges. So we go back to the first one and repeat the same thing. It just took me so long to find a pen. I missed the name of the, the fire you mentioned earlier. Sorry to be a pain. What did I mention earlier? The fire, hang on, my eyes, my eyes are going all over the, what did I mention earlier? Sorry Debbie, is that meant to say fire? Or is it meant to say something else? Does anybody else know what Debbie means? It just took me so long to find a pen, I missed the name of the, you mentioned earlier. You're not being a pain, I, can't, I just don't know what the fire is. It'll perhaps come to me in a minute. You'll have to excuse me, Debbie. My brain is totally mush. It's like 15% off code. Ah, right, thank you. I'm glad somebody switched on, Kelly. The 15% off code is thank you in uppercase, no space. And the 15% off code is until the 31st of August. I'm so pleased you were all switched on. I hadn't got a clue. What am I like? I told you I've got no brain cells. So the the code is thank you, uppercase, no, no space. And that's valid until the 31st of August. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't all here. Hi, Linda. So I'm just blending the fossilised amber, distress oxide, just to remove those edges from the vintage photo that I applied for the second layer of colour. So there's our colours. So let's just bring those in so you can see those. And I love those colours together. So if you've got any questions, please shout them away. So I'm now going to password. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, you're all switched on, you see. My brain cells have been left behind about a day ago. So I'm now going to spritz with water and just allow that to sit for a few seconds. Now I can't heat dry that ink that that water i can't heat dry it because if i heat dry it it will then flatten the embossing now if i flatten the embossing that's too much of a problem not too much of a problem but it'll get rid of the glossiness and also if i applied more ink afterwards the ink would then stick to the circles so oh thanks ever so much paul and i really appreciate it the, just joined you can you can ask as many times as you like the code let's just say that again the code is thank you, no space, and that's for 15% off until the 31st of August on the All and Create website. And I'll repeat that as many times as you like. Sorry about that, Debbie, my brain cells. And this is the little giveaway. Uh, this is from me personally. I've bought this myself just to say a huge thank you. I'll draw one randomly drawn winner next week. And Abs kindly let me have the last stamp that was left um, just for one randomly drawn winner, just to say thank you to you all for your overwhelming support. Thank you very much. So we've now let that ink sit for it, we've let that water sit. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to dab, just spritz my kitchen roll with a little bit of water and just dab away the color from the embossing just so that that embossing still pops 
and just remember to remove your move your kitchen roll around hi louise move your kitchen roll around a little just so that that embossing and that whiteness still pops so if i hold that up i'm not going to dry it you will see a few splatters and you'll see some of the oxidization that the oxides do um I hope you can see my message. I can't see them online. A message on here, Ginny, or a message on Facebook in general on one of my posts. Do you mean a, fa a message on here? You missed the beginning, did you, Sue? No problem, Sue. It's a, it's a free-for-all Facebook Live. We're just going with the flow. So if you've just joined me, Sue, I'm doing this as a giveaway to say thank you to everybody who is joining the Facebook Live, who messaged me, just for the overwhelming support really so this is the little giveaway that i'll draw in a week's time to a randomly drawn winner and the code to get 15 percent off on the all and create website is thank you just in uppercase thank you no space and that's 15 percent off until the 31st of august so if you can see now going back to the card i've got a lovely resist i've got some uh, white layers and I've got some oxidization from the distress oxides and I've got some depth to design and with having some machine stitching as well the comments aren't running on screen oh they're running for me thank you Kathy for putting that up thank you very much um, I will add the I'll actually add the code at the bottom as well when I've finished filming just so that nobody forgets so I've also added some machine stitching which added adds some more depth and if I bring my third one in that I did beforehand just to give me an idea of what I'm doing just let me show you the difference when you allow the ink to sit remember on my shows I said allow the ink to sit to sit because you get more depth this ink has sat and I didn't heat it or anything um, Hey up duck, <laughs> hey up duck, hi Jules, <laughs> can you see here the oxidisation, hang on I'm not getting this right, let me just see if I'm getting this right, that's better, can you see the oxidisation on this corner here, that's from the oxides allowing the inks to sit and not drying them, so thanks very much Anne, thanks for that, welcome everybody. So now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I need a piece of white card. I'm just bending frantically. Oh. How is everybody anyway? Is everybody well? I think we should all send Millie some positive vibes for feeling better soon. She's not feeling very well, Millie isn't. And she's going through a difficult spell at the moment. So sending love to Millie, Millie Moss, just to send her big hugs to feel better soon. Um, I'm now going to take my stamp, which is going to be, can you tell I've got too much on my desk? My comments weren't running on screen, but I had it in landscape mode, but I can see them in portrait mode. Don't you just love computers, Gail? You just never know. They just do their own thing. So yes, we should all remember Millie. She's going through a fight at the moment, so I just want to remember Millie. So now I'm going to use my um, background mashup stamp, um, which I use a lot, but I'm just going to add a subtle, thanks everybody, I really appreciate it. Um, so we're going to add some stamping with the background stamp. And I'm going to use Vintage Photo, vintage photo Distress Oxide. Sorry, I can't get my words out. So I'm now stamping with the Distress Oxide and I hope everybody else is well, I hope you're all keeping well. So I'm now going to add some stamping and I tend to turn my project in the direction I want to stamp, does that make sense? So I'm now stamping, I hope you can still see and I'm still in camera. So there we go. Can you see, I'm still getting the knack of these, um, the camera. I'm going to think it's down I need to go. Does it down I need to go? Just bear with me while I get my camera all sorted. So I've 
no it's the wrong way bear with me two seconds that's better so I've now got some background stamping in the background so all you can see now is that I've got the distress oxides in the background I've got the machine stitching and I've got the background stamping as well um, and you can see that I've got lots of depth to that no up no up sorry <laughs> can you see it now I'm gonna move it away there we go up is that better just the just the ink ever rub off the embossed spots you can dry it a little but you can't dry it too much so now I'll just waft over but don't dry it too much so you don't get rid of that embossing not that it's too much of a problem but literally what I'll do now is I'll use my kitchen roll a dry piece because you're using a distress oxide a pigment dye fusion just dab off any excess ink that might be at the top but as you can see there's not really much there anyway so that's absolutely fine so we're going to add some more stitching to the other panels just with the background mashup and I'm trying to decide which way to have my card we'll have it that way so add some more stamping and that's why I love this stamp your stamp like I read you stamp like I read a map I keep turning it in the direction I'm going exactly sis but it makes it easier for stamping for me hi folks been watching Tracy please don't include me in the draw as I have both thank you no problem at all girl that's very kind of you girl and thank you very much so I'm now going to just add a bit more stamping again and I'll hold all three up when I've done just so you can see and I just wanted to do something a little hi Sheila welcome I just wanted to do something a little bit different I know you've just joined us Sheila just so that you know um, there's a 15% discount code as a, a thank you from abs and all and create on the all and create website using the code thank you valid until the 31st of August and I'm doing a little giveaway of the Eileen Hull notebook and the limited edition stamp because there was one left it's not for sale um, it's just for the final giveaway just to say thank you so I'm just adding a bit more stamping and I'm just stamping randomly I'm not putting my stamp onto an acrylic block I'm just adding so if we just hold this up now I'm going to add this to my accordion eventually we can now see if Tracy holds it in the right direction and not away from it let's move it that way a bit I think it's that way come on camera catch up so you can now see all three so we've got lots of dimension there oh thanks Claire welcome everybody thanks for joining me so we've now got three layers to our card there and now we need to stamp our focal image and our focal image is going to be off the curious curiosity stamp which is the hand so I'm going to use the hand this time um, from the curiosity stamp set and I'm going to stamp fiercely no I'm not I've changed my mind this is what this is what I'm allowed to do I've decided I've changed my mind I'm going to add some spotlights so I'm going to add a spotlight to this one do you like how I change my mind all of a say all of a sudden don't add me thank you very much Sheila that's really kind of you oh that's really kind of you Sheila thank you very much it's really just to say thank you Sheila the whole purpose of the Facebook live was to say thank you to everybody it's the support was so overwhelming and sometimes just typing on a keyboard and just saying thank you isn't enough sometimes it's important to hear it from the horse's mouth if that makes sense and I just wanted you to know sincerely that I appreciate every single comment and I will be replying to every single email and every single comment so thank you very much and thanks for that Sheila hopefully you'll get your artwork soon Sheila so I'm now going to use gathered twigs which is a darker shade of brown and I'm going to apply the ink let's just move that out the way apply the ink moving from the center outwards so I'm just applying the ink and this is a darker shade of ink and I just adore these oxides and it's just nice to do something in a vintage shade 
just for a change. You know, we're doing loads of colours on Hachandi. It's just lovely doing some vintage shades. So that gives me a spotlight. Well, I'm liking that now. I love the darkness, the depth of the darkness. Oh, I'm a bit worried about this regular thing, Ginny. If you'd have seen me on the first show, I'm such a professional, I nearly threw up. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. So now I'm going to add another spotlight to this one, but in a different position. So let's do this spotlight here for this one. So we'll just bring this here and just go around the edges. And this just gives it a little bit more depth. Thanks ever so much, Miriam. I can't tell you how much your comments mean. It's I just love sharing. I love seeing your artwork. I love seeing what you do with anybody's stamp designs. I adore seeing what you do. And I think that's what it's all about. We're all like-minded creatives and that's what I just love seeing what you all do. So I've now got two spotlights and I'm now going to do the third one, but I'll put this one in the centre. I'm trying to keep them all in camera. My desk's so small because I've got so much product on. Your shows were great, very inspirational. Hope to do a class with you in the future. Oh, thanks ever so much, Tracy. Oh, bring my nose. Oh, did you hear them on a chander? I was so embarrassed, Beverly. Honestly, I could feel my face going bright red. But they were they were so lovely. They were all lovely. Catherine, Hayley, Yanis, they were all lovely. And everybody behind the scenes, they're so friendly. So I've got all I've got I'm grabbing a hold of my cotton now, my cotton machine stitching. It's all catching up. So I'm just adding that depth. I hope this is not too repetitive for you. If it's too repetitive, just say. I don't want to be too repetitive. So this is what we've got now. Can you see how much depth that brings to the design? I'm just loving doing something a little bit different just to, without doing colours for chains. I'm, I love them. <laughs> Thanks, Beverly. <laughs> so now I'm going to move those colours out the way just so I've got a bit more space because I've got no space anywhere. Oh, So we'll just go back now to the main stamping. If she can find a stamp, that is. There it is. So I've now got my hand stamp and I'm just going to stamp in the background but this is not going to how it's going to stay. Oh, hi, Gay. I loved your last card with the fish. It was fabulous. I think everyone sells it. Do you know, shaving foam was everywhere on Sunday. Apparently, Ab said, even at the Stevenage show, shaving foam was everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to get a bad name for shaving foam. So I'm now going to stamp my hand just to give it a good inking. And I just adore this image. I know I'm biased because it's my stamp, but I do adore it. I hope my head isn't in camera. So I'm now going to stamp my hand but it's not going to stay like that. The only reason I'm stamping this hand is because I want that heart. Because I'll be putting some over stamping on the hand. So you can see the detail there. But I'm actually going to be over stamping. You'll see why in a second. So I'm going to stamp that hand three times. Just onto the backgrounds just in different places. Let's just make sure I've got that nice and straight. Just stamp that three times. What card do you use to stamp onto? I use, uh, I either use Paper Art C 300 GSM card or any 300 GSM card I can get or um, Bockingford Hot Press card as well. Sandy paid £2 for shaving foam. Oh my goodness! Oh. That better be good shaving foam, Helen. It better smell good. <laughs> Two pound for shaving foam. <laughs> oh, bless him. At least he got you some. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Thanks ever so much, Leslie. Thanks for ordering. I'm sorry I'm late to the party, but only just got in. I will repeat everything that I said at the beginning, um, Keitha, at the end, if that's okay, just so that you haven't missed anything. Um, so I've now stamped that on there. We'll stamp it a third time because I love accordions that have got some repetition in stamping. But we're going to add a little bit more detail. We're not going to leave it like that. You probably know me well by now. 
I'm late to the party. It's no problem, Tracy. You can watch on Rewind and I'll repeat the giveaway at the end. If you'd like to share, that'd be great. So we can re we can reach everybody that watched her chander just to say thank you. So I'm just reaching for a baby wipe just to remove some of that black. And what I've done now, let's just move these out the way for a second. I've stamped, oops, the cotton threads are catching on everything. So we just move this out the way. I've now stamped the hands on white card. Yes, it's Versa Fine Claire. Thank you very much, Joe. Thanks very much for helping out everybody and answering questions. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Um, my eyes uh, are not as good as they were the other day. Oh, I, was, I can hardly see. Um, so I've stamped onto white card and I've stamped the same hand onto book pages. So I'm now going to adhere the book page hand to the card hand. I hope I'm, if I'm not making sense, please shout. I can repeat anything as many times as you need. So I'm now going to ha add, do you like how I'm adding a H to add? Add that hand to the card hand, just to give it some stability, to give it some thickness. I'm going to try these techniques on a canvas. Perfect Dawn, they'd be brilliant on a canvas. And the other idea I'd got, can you imagine this on a canvas? Because I'm going to do one for one of me weekly posts. So having that all these techniques, but with a an embroidery hoop. So you'd have the embroidery hoop on the canvas with the hand. Oh, I've just had another idea. I've just found this. Look at the hand stamped in clay, if you'd got it with an embroidery hoop. The glue that I'm using is Tonics glue, Chris. It's Tonics glue. But can you imagine the hand on those backgrounds in clay and then adding the embroidery hoop on the top. That, that I think that'd look really nice. So I'm now adding the book pages just to my card. This is just to give some stability because book pages are too fine, too flimsy for what I want to do next. So we've now got them. Now I need to find my scrap of card. So thank you everybody for joining me. To be honest, I didn't think I'd have too many joining me because with you seeing me on her chander I didn't know whether it might be overkill and we don't want you we don't want to overkill so I'm now going to use my Versafine and I'm going to apply the Versafine to my hand not my hand personally but this hand so I'm applying Versafine to the hand using a scrap of paper so just press the Versafine over the hand what does that sound like Versafine over my hand. Oh dear. So just apply that. I'm then going to chuck everything on the floor because I can't see a thing. I'm then going to use Seth Apter's Vintage Beeswax just to age my hand a little. I'm just to dip that. And this will just age everything nicely. And I'm going to add more than one layer. Do you think I like Vintage Beeswax because I've got a big pot? I've left David on charge of dinner. I burnt it on Friday. You should see my cooking Claire. Honestly. Oh, I'll never be famous, Belinda, trust me. Always down to earth. I wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for you lot. Trust me, I wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for you, the design team and abs. And I should never take, and I will never take that for granted, ever. So, and it's only down to you all supporting me. So I'm now going to heat... Um, the um, beeswax. Come on, Tracy, get your brain together. I'm going to heat this beeswax. I will bring it up to the camera so you can see because I'm going to add more than one layer. I'm just holding this in place just in case it's a bit flimsy. It just takes a few seconds to melt because this is the first layer. Thanks very much, Dawn. Thanks, everybody. You're all very kind. So I'm I can't stop shaking heat gun. That's such a terrible habit. So I'm just heating that. Now, if I was just doing one hand, I'd dip that straight into the beeswax again. And then I wouldn't have to add any more Versamark. But I need to heat the second hand. So I will have to add more Versamark to make it stick. So I'm heating the, vin the vintage beeswax again. Hi, Joe, Welcome. 
Can I see the lid of the beeswax, please? Of course you can. Just hang on a second. Just let me heat this and then I'll get the lid for you. Right, the lid of the beeswax. This is a big pot. I'll show you the small pots. Hang on, bear with me. So this is the big pot. This is the small pot. From That's Crafty, I got it. Oh, that was good. I didn't even hold it near the camera. What a good start that was. So, vintage beeswax, Seth Apte. You can either get a small pot, or if you're a Tracy Evans and you do that much craft, a small pot isn't enough, you can get a big pot. So, baked texture, vintage beeswax. Now, when you're doing this at home, while the beeswax is still hot, dip it back into the pot again. But I haven't left it. I've left it to cool down, so I need to um, add Versamark again. But I need to heat this a bit more because I've not fully melted. So this is just a slow process. No, this is... Uh, yes, paper art to do as well because it's Seth Actors beeswax. Seth Actors. So now I'm going to add more Versamark. We don't have beeswax here in Belgium. You could use, what you could do then, Isabel, if you haven't got no beeswax, let's think outside the box. You could tint your card with a very pale beige colour and then do some clear embossing and you'll get a similar look, not exactly the same because the beeswax is totally different. It's got texture, it's got lumps and bumps. And it's got an aging element but it would give you a similar look if you can't get hold of it so I'm just adding some more ink to that and let's dip it in the beeswax again so we dip it in the beeswax once more and then again and it's worth doing this process because hi Linda welcome it, it's worth doing this process, adding more than one layer, because that really adds to the ageing. I'm just holding these in place so they don't fly away. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Laura. I'm hoping they don't fly, fly away. Hopefully I'm still in camera as they keep moving. I'll hold it up just to show you how it melts. And then you can see it. Make sure I melt it this time so you can see everything. Then you can see how it ages, but it's translucent. Sounds like my body, never mind. <laughs> so, I love how you all answer each other, it's really helpful. Right, we'll hold this up now. Let's move this white card. Oh no, the, let's move this sticky white card. So, I'm hoping that we hold this up properly. Sounds like my body and my hand. <laughs> You're so funny. Can you see that it's got a tint, an aged look to it, a, like a beigey colour to it, but it's, it's translucent and you can still see all that text through the hands. So it gives a lovely texture. Yeah, I'm, I, if, if you haven't got a melt pot, you see, I'm a bit lazy. I mean, a melt pot's great if you're doing big projects and you're stamping into it, but I just use a metal... Um, you know when you... Well, you know when you eat cake and you get like little mince pies and you've got those little containers? I melt mine in that. Pour it onto my non-stick craft sheet and then stamp into it. So there's my hands. So this is what I'm thinking. So let's have that one in the middle, that one either side. Oh, do you know? So I'm thinking we're putting this one here. Oh, I'm loving the beeswax. Is it sad that I like something when you do it. I have beeswax from my mouth pot, but never, never when the age, oh, the age version's lovely. So this is why I love these hands because when you age them, they're fantastic. So now let's, oh, I need another hand now. I want three hands, not the clay piece. Oh dear, I need three hands now. So we're gonna have to stamp another because I just like it too much. I love the vintage beeswax. Actually, no, I know what we'll do. We'll do something a bit different. 
you ever talk to yourself? Hi Tracy, you bake too? Don't be ridiculous, Amanda. Bake? I can't cook, I can't bake. I can garden and I can craft. It's a good job I'm not bothered about eating much. But no, I can garden and craft. Forget cooking. Absolutely no chance. So what I'm going to, I've just thought I'm going to do it different, a different way for the middle one this time. So we're going to stamp the hand onto the book page. So this, I didn't prep this one, but that doesn't matter. It won't take me long to cut it out and we can talk amongst each other. There's nowhere to put stuff on this desk at all. So just heat that. Not quite so vintage a result though. It's all right, Miriam, you can catch it on catch up. I always talk to myself, it's very bad. If anybody, if, if I was on my own at a chandy and the presenter wasn't talking to me, I would have talked, I would have spoken to myself, trust me, because I can't help myself. You forget sometimes. So I'm now going to, if you just bear with me while I cut this out, it won't take me too long. I know it's not interesting watching, but I, I changed my mind about what I was doing. I was going to use the clay piece and then because I love the beeswax so much, I've changed my mind. So I'm just cutting this out. Tracy Scissorhands. <laughs> I love all your sense of humour. So now, and with these ones, I did these separately so that they give me some dimension. But with the middle one, I'm going to add it directly to the piece. So I'm not cutting it out. So I'm adding it directly. I've got a sore throat now from talking too much, you know. So I'm now going to add this directly to the card. Just give it a few seconds just to set that glue, just for a few seconds. And then we'll add the vintage beeswax. Yes, I answer back as well, sis. I can, so I can see that. <laughs> Thanks, Miriam. So now I'm just adding that and then I'm going to add some beeswax to, bees wax to this. So I'm now going to adhere these two, these two down, the ones with the beeswax added directly to them. And they feel lovely. They feel really nice with the beeswax. I love the beeswax. It adds so much texture. You just need to remember, you need to hold your adhesive down a little with applying the beeswax onto the card because it bends it a little bit because you've applied heat and you've applied so many layers. So we'll then adhere this one. Hi Sue, thanks everybody for watching me. So we're now just going to move that thread out the way and there's so much texture on this card with the layers of ink and the embossing, it's amazing. I wish we could have touchy-feely screens what glue do you use this is let me hold it up to the screen this is tonic and it is tonics adhesive just double ended glue pen so i just need to hold hold that down just hold your beeswax down your beeswax pieces because you need that glue to make a good adhesion hi sue just hold that down, it will, it will make, let me just hold those up for you. Can you see how wonderful those hands look in beeswax or is it just me? I just love the hand in beeswax. It looks brilliant, I love it and I wish you could feel it. it it's so tactile, it really is tactile. Hi Abs. So now with this one, let's add the beeswax directly to it so we get a different effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's get my scrap paper. I'm now going to apply the Versafine directly to the card rather than the cut out piece. So we're going to apply it directly to the card. So let's use my small pot this time. Let's just tip the excess off. And now I've applied the beeswax, just place that back in. Now we'll, 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 we'll heat the beeswax directly. Let's move these two out the way. I should do 
one day on a Facebook Live show you how messy my desk is. So we'll now heat this directly on here rather than the cut out piece. I would love to come over and feel the hands. Do you know, Terry, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? I would love to come over and feel the hands. <laughs> Perhaps it's my warped sense of humour. So I'm just drying the beeswax. And again, while the beeswax is hot, we're going to add another layer. And I'll hold this up so you can see it. Hi, Maggie. So we'll keep heating this. And I will hold it up once I've finished the second layer. I just have to hold it up a, a little bit because I can't see with the light in my... So I'm just going to add another layer now while it's hot to the hand. Oh, my desk's dreadful. It's so bad, Miriam. So that'll be the last layer that we add. Hopefully I'm not keeping you too long. And we'll just dry this and then I'll, I'll show you this one. I've got to go to have my tea. Bye. Enjoy, Val. Thanks for joining me. So we're just drying this. Just give it a good dry. And then I'll hold it up so you can see the texture. Hi, Sam. And when you have a go yourself, you'll realise the texture in your design. It really is fantastic. Let's hold that up now. So let me show you the difference. So we've got one added directly to the card and one added. My desk gets smaller the more I create. Mine's exactly the same, Anne. Let's move it that way. So I've now got one piece that I've cut out and where it's bent at the end, I love that. And this piece, the beeswax, is applied directly to the card. Can you see the translucency? Let me hold this one up. Can you see the translucency here? You can still see the embossing through the beeswax and you can still see my background stamp in the background as well. So I absolutely love that. So what we'll do now is we'll bring in our accordion just so that we add the final bits. Let's just fold my accordion so it's going the way, is it going the way I want it? Yes it is. So I've now got an accordion. This accordion is four inches by four inches. And I'm just going to add these to the accordion. I'm going to add a few more details as well. A few more details do it just to finish it off. But I don't cut off, I never cut off my machine threads. I leave the machine threads for more texture. Now just remember, you've added lots of layers to this card. So hold your adhesive down. You love my accent, Kim. Do you know, it's awful when you listen to yourself. When you listen to yourself back, I cringe. I cringe at my accent. But then, I suppose that's me, isn't it, really? But I do cringe at my accent. So I'm just holding that down. And then I'll repeat the giveaway shortly. Abs has given us, a, kindly given us um, a discount code for the All and Create website. The discount code is THANK YOU in uppercase, no space, and there's a 15% discount on the website. So we just hold that down. I'm just holding it down so the adhesion, because there's lots of texture on this. And it's just worth holding it for a few seconds. Be proud of your accent. Thanks, Millie. It makes me who I am, really, doesn't it, I suppose, Millie? But I think it's just when you listen back at yourself. It, it's weird. So now we're adding our third one. I'm loving these cotton threads. You know how you go through phases with what you like? I just love machine threads at the moment. Just lining that up. Sorry, I'm not trying to take it out of camera. Just trying to make sure everything adheres nicely. So let's just spread that down like so. And now I'm just going to add some little delicate splatters. Oh, thanks, Terry. So I'm just going to add some delicate splatters. That one's not going to be big enough. Where's my splatter pen? 
that's black you think I'd be able to find splatter pens the amount of splatter pens I've used over the last few days and I'm just going to add a few delicate splatters that's better hopefully let me check I'm still in camera and hey look I've got my pajamas on I'm on beans on toast for a while oh no not being mind you I like beans on toast and I mean that seriously I love beans on toast perhaps I'm, I'm just a bit strange mind you I am a bit strange we all we all know I'm a bit strange don't we so that just lifts the design a little bit so we we'll just lift that up we just need that to adhere there I'm loving I'm loving working with vintage tones just for a change just some vintage tones and I'm absolutely delighted with the hand the hand in beeswax I just love it love it I suppose it's a bit sad really that I love my own stamps so much um, so now I've got these bits of cart bits of paper you know from the edge of watercolor paper I, lo I do I love beans on toast so I'm going to add a few bits of these from the watercolour pieces just to lift my design a little bit so my aim is to do this just to lift those vintage tones a little bit and I won't keep you much longer I promise and then add these vintage tones let's go this no we'll do this this way this time I, I love vintage but I, I love mixing it up a little bit and I think you know when I've just been on TV and you've seen lots of colour I thought you might like to see something a little bit different just so that you don't get bored because I know sometimes if you waffle too much you know the Facebook lives can get a bit boring if I, if, if I waffle too much so just adding these bits of card do you know I'm, I, I love this considering I wasn't planning it all I think it's because I'm just doing something a bit different. My hobby would live on beans on toast, on baked beans. I love baked beans. I love baked beans on a jacket potato as well. Do you know, I feel hungry now, do you? I feel really hungry. Forget the beans on toast, I'll be licking the body. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Gail. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Have you just seen what Gail's put? She says, forget the beans on toast, I'll be licking the butter. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's really tickled me, that has. <laughs> oh, please. No, I'd even send you some beans. You, you can't lick the butter, Gail. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm just adding these pieces because I'm loving these little pieces that are on my desk. It just adds another little texture. Really, I'm really enjoying this. It's it's lovely having you all here and just chatting randomly about anything. I love it. And for those that, I'm sorry, I've been waffling on. Uh, am I mistaken or are the stamps not on the website? Abs, are you there? You need to get these stamps on the website. When I finish the Facebook Live, give me half an hour and I'll go and slap abs to get them on site I told him to put them on site for you so if you give me half an hour after the Facebook live I'll go and slap him and ask him to put them on the website and he'll get them on the they'll be on the website tonight I promise because I shall, I shall give him a good slap I did tell him before the show unless he's now working on it while he's behind the scenes so he should be doing it I know he knows about it so I don't know whether he's watching or not because I've been looking down. Sorry. Yes, hi, boss man. Get and put these on the website, please. So, it's a good job he's used to me, isn't it, really? He never takes me seriously. It's a good job. I love him, really. So, I'm now going to add that. Oh, yes, I'm liking... I'm liking those little touches of white. Yes, because I've messaged him and he's not replied, so give him one from me too. No problem, Karen, I'll give him a bit of a, a slap. Although I must admit, I was on the phone for nine hours, Karen, yesterday, and I'm not exaggerating, non-stop answering messages, and I've still got 300 messages to answer because another 100 came in today. 
I can't believe it. Right, so let's add the sentiment and then we're nearly finished. You'll be pleased to know. So I've got a sentiment here and I think stay curious is perfect. So we're going to add stay curious. We're nearly at the end, so I won't keep you much longer. Just put stay curious. I've got no room now. And I'm just going to get some white card. Been to Chester Zoo today, so I've been living on butties today. I bet you feel like something hot now, Keitha, don't you? Now you've had butties. Normally when I've had butties during the day, I want some, some comfort food. So I'm now going to add this sentiment. And I just love the sentiment, stay curious. So stay curious. Brilliant. I'm just, I'm talking to myself again. Not a good sign. So we'll just drive that sentiment. Abs is in big trouble. You really do use everything in your creations. I'm going to rummage in my bin. <laughs> I am not a star, trust me. <laughs> Bless you, Karen. Corrie is on. Enjoy your Corrie, Joanne. So right, now I'm going to cut my sentiment out. There's just only a couple more touches now and then we've nearly finished. Just add some brown to our sentiment. And then we're nearly there. And I'll just remind everybody of the little giveaway just so that those that joined that didn't see, just in case I missed anyone. Oh, bless you, Tori. Thank you. So I'm now going to add this sentiment. And I'm going to add the sentiment. I'm going to add the sentiment here. Stay curious. And then I've got finally got some of these little reinforcers. You know when you cut a tag out and you've got these little paper reinforcers? I can't see what people are writing. Oh, that's strange, Ginny. I can see it all. Can everybody else see the writing? Are you in landscape? Somebody else has just had a problem, Ginny, and they turned it to portrait and then they all came up again. I don't know whether it's that or not, but I can see all the text and all the writing. Very strange. Perhaps the computer's having a bit of a, a fit. It's thinking, oh, goodness me, Tracy Evans is on again. Let's turn off all the comments. That's what it's probably doing. Look at your fingers. <laughs> so I'm just adding these paper reinforcers and I am actually thinking about where to put them. No, can't see the writing. Maybe if you go out and come back in, you'll see the writing, Dawn. I can see the writing, no problem. I can still see everybody's messages, everything. So maybe if you go back out and come back in, it'll still be there. Mind you, you can still hear me waffling, that, that's for sure. Right, so now we've finished the card. Let me hold that up for you. What do you think? I can't see the comments either, and I had to ask permission. <laughs> Weird. How strange is that? Swipe left in landscape to see comments. Oh, thanks, Pat. I can too. Can anybody else? Yeah, Joe can see them in portrait, but not in landscape. It's because you are famous now. I had to turn my iPad round to see the comments. Ha, ha, ha. I wish, Joe. <laughs> so there's our card. Let me just move it this way a little bit. And I have to say, I, I've really enjoyed that. It, it was a really calm session. Um, and I've really enjoyed using the hand. I've loved the hand stamp. And I love how my background mashup stamp is in the background. And you can still see it through the beeswax. I wonder why you can't see the comments. Very strange. But I, as, as long as you can see the artwork, never mind. Um, but I've literally finished that. So what I'll just do, I'll do a little reminder of the giveaway just for those that, that joined me late. It was the, the point of the Facebook Lives was to offer something back, to offer a little bit more inspiration, 
to say a huge thank you to everybody. Seriously, thank you very much for everything, for every single comment, for every like, for everything. Um, <laughs> so thank you very much. You want to eat waffles now, do you, Carmen? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your holiday, Carmen. So this is the giveaway and I'm going to draw the winner next week. This time next week, I'll draw a randomly drawn winner if you'd like to share that would be wonderful it's not a necessity i'm not bothered either way it's just so i can reach as many people as possible that watched her chander to say a huge thank you so this will be the giveaway oh we, yeah this it should swipe left yeah and then also the lovely abs has done a give a, 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 a code a discount code which is valid until the 31st of august and the discount code is thank you in uppercase, no space. And there's a 15% discount until the 31st of August. I'll speak to Abs as soon as I've finished the Facebook Live to ask him to put all the new products on the website. So if you give me half an hour, I'll make sure that's done. Just to say a huge thank you again, seriously and sincerely, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you very much. And I hope you appreciate enjoyed the little off the cuff facebook live thank you very much everybody and i hope you have a lovely evening and i'll see you all again soon thanks very much bye 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 everybody